Hey everybody, Travel Dog here, and we have arrived at Corfe Castle. Uh, just past the National Trust car park. There's a little kind of um, visitor place there. Maybe that's like a tea room, don't know. Lots of um, cars here in the car park. And we're now we're gonna try and head up to Corfe Castle. Uh, let's go look at this map first of all and see what that says about how we do it. Uh, members park free. Uh, right, here we go. So here we are, I think we're down here at this, uh, I guess we're here at this car parking area, I think. Doesn't say you are here. Maybe we're here. Which one do you think we're at? Aren't we here? I think you must be here, mustn't so we? So we've got to start that way. Oh, it goes through the woods. That's weird. Oh, is that just a walk? How do you get to the castle? Oh man, should we have should we have parked here instead? Anyway, this this looks like the wooded the wooded walk looks like Pug can do it without being tortured, doesn't he? And then we'll come into the town, so it all looks quite nice. Let's try it. All right, so we're inside this little uh, visitor centre. We get one of these cool castle maps. Got a few little drinks and stuff in there, and you got a picture of. Corfe Castle itself, this is where we're going to head off to. Maybe that's what it used to be like. Anyway, let's head off there. Right, we've got a map we got from inside National Trust. We're heading through this gate. Actually, looks rather beautiful. This walk it's shaded, which is good luck. And an idiot moment with a gate. She can't get through. There's a different one at every gate, so. No, I know. Coming to work on it. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, look how right, it is. so we're just opposite the car park. It's a super pretty little walk down here and shaded, which is ideal for the pug. National Trust Corfe Castle, we are on the way, baby. Let's go for it. Please lift me. Oh, there's no gate there to be lifted, but otherwise there would be. Right, beautiful. All looking good around here. Got really beautiful, beautiful area. Look at it, man. Stunning little walk, quite shaded, which is good for the pugs. It's a hot day. Oh, look, sort of little benches down there. You can have a little picnic. Nice little river. Look at that lovely little river. I can dip the pug in there if it gets too hot. But look, absolutely beautiful here. Look at it, stunning. Probably like a mini walk, but exceptionally picturesque. Pug enjoying it. Castle, oh, I see castle and the village. There seems to be a walk through the forest around the edge of the castle and the village. Oh, Puppet Bay, the rings, whatever they are. And then castle and the village down here. So let's head off down to this castle and village. Get Pug back in the shade. Come on, Jeff, back in the shade. Over the bridge, back in the shade. Good puck. Yeah, I was thinking you'd take him out of the water and dip his feet in if he gets too hot. Yeah, it's a nice little spot, isn't it? Oh, look, a lovely little bridge here. How picturesque is that, man? Oh, nice Really cool. Take a look. And you've got a lovely little area down there with the rocks. Oh. Chill out, picnic. Just crossed over some dangerous road. Jeffy. Come on, Pug. Jeffy. Come on, Jeff. Come on. Pug sniffing something as usual. Sorry, after you. They'd go with every blade of grass, wouldn't they? Oh, Jeff, man, he would be there for a year. <laughs> right. Anyway, up there you can see the castle. First little glimpse of it. That really cool. Sort of ruined castle on a Oh, sorry, Jeff. Ruined castle on a hill. Looks fantastic. Moment on, and you look, you can see much more of the castle now. Up there on the left hand side, up the hill. So cool. Look at it, it really is a ruined castle. It would have been quite big originally. You see those massacred walls? You've got a castle up on the right. You've got this rather beautiful little river just lurking down on your left here, which is rather pretty as you walk along. It's a hot day, but it's a nice day. Yeah, there's the little river. It's a hot day, but it's a nice little shaded, cool route here. But you can see the castle up there again. Right, we think we're about here. Yeah, we're still walking along by this beautiful little river. So we're, what, about halfway around the castle? Two-thirds. Two-thirds of the way on this route around the castle that's going to take us into the village. And then as far as I can see from the village, we march right into the castle and invade. The water is being drunk very, very slowly. We don't know why. Meanwhile, Pug has been freshly doused in cold water. These other bits look like they're going to roll down and smash in your forehead or your mother any second. Oh, just falling down a hole. And over there is a little bridge that looks cool that we're heading towards to right now. Okay, so I think we're getting up to this little town bit now. So, we quite made it. Yeah, this is us walking into the town. There we go, yeah, look, you've got a nice little villagey town thing here. Corfe Castle Tea Room. Lots of people chill out with dogs. Oh, Corfe Castle, here we go, National Trust. What have you got on the tea room menu? 
Oh, tease basically. Uh, oh yeah, castle entrance here, you've got a really picturesque little town. There must be more stuff than just tea. In. Oh, that is the National Trust tea. There must be more stuff in there. Right, so here we are, beautiful little village town. Got a cool little timeline here just outside the castle. 978 when King Edward Martyr was murdered by his wicked stepmother. Oh, look at that. She survived, but 22 of her nights were not so lucky. When you walk past the tower, you might hear echoes of their ghostly screams. And modernised the defences, 1920 and 24. Last royal owner, Queen Elizabeth I, 1572. Sold Corf Castle, twice her off sieges in the Civil War, 1643 46. Finally captured because of treachery from within the walls. After partial demolition and looting of the castle by order of Parliament, Lady Banks's son Ralph tried to discover what he could. And they built a new mansion at Kingston Lacey. Interesting. After three and a half years of ownership by the Banks family, the castle given to the National Trust. Hmm. There it is, guys. I'm going to head up there and have a look at it in a second. And then get Jeff some dog ice cream on the way back. Everybody, here we are. Travel dog is being held in the sun with an umbrella on him and we are heading into Corfe Castle. Look at that wonderful archway we're about to stroll under. Well, it's cool, doesn't it? So let's stroll up here, look at that. So, I love the way the wall is just collapsing. Look at it, I mean, a fine place to defend, wouldn't it? Uh, uh, safety information. Slip hazards, sudden drops, supervised children, steep slopes, no climbing. Oh, sounds quite dangerous, doesn't it? Doesn't look good though. Oh, I mean, this pug is heavy. Come on, pug. Come on, pug. So if you want to see, you could dress up as uh, one of these uh, people. Heading up to the castle looks good. Uh, you've got a little map thing here. Well, we call castle. In 1074, William the Conqueror exchanged a church in Gillingham for the castle. We just read all that. And owned by the abbess of Shaftesbury. The first stone of Corfe Castle was laid in 1086, and since then it's been extended. It's been a treasury, military garrison, royal residence, and family home. In 1646, it looked like this drawing, destroyed by the parliamentarians in the same year. It's now a picturesque ruin. So look at it, it's been absolutely covered with walls and everything up here. It is an amazing vantage point. It would have been that easy to defend, wouldn't it? Section here. So here we are, up at this first bit of Corfe Castle. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Look at it, look around. Got all these cool things. Look at that, you've got the castle itself, looks magnificent out there. Completely mad, just want some dragons and stuff. Oh man, look, you've got a brilliant view over to the town as well. Look at that. And there is a dragon, Ray Fatty's just pointed out, there is a dragon over there in the corner. So we have got a dragon. And there's a little, oh, there's a second listening post there. You got the graveyard, got all this town, looks so cool. Extraordinary place. Look at it, right around here, and then down over here, you can find the pug in these beautiful little views. Got these lovely stone walls. Oh, there's something over there we can have a look at in a moment. And out of here, you've got pug in the shade, good pug in the shade. And then look, you've got these amazing little. Well, wow, it's quite high actually. Look, you can see just how high it is. I think that's where we were walking, possibly. Look at that beautiful view. Really cool. Look out there. Oh, that is that the visitor centre where we started? It probably is actually. Huh. Check it out. Really cool. Right, here's the we're we'll close off of the dragon. Corfe Castle Easter Dragon. Check it out. This is the. Buttervant Tower, Corfe Castle, and reach the Buttervant Tower. It's known for its tales of warfare, treachery, and deceit. No part of Corfe Castle tells a better tale of misery and woe than here at the Buttervant Tower. 
mostly the story of Princess Eleanor of Brittany, her long suffering 24 knights. So Eleanor was playing prisoner with her 24 knights. She lived comfortably, but her knights were thrown into the oubliette in the Butterfant Tower. Oh, it's quite dizzy making standing here by this Butterfant Tower. It's really a pretty tower, though. Actually, quite impressive. Not bad at all for a tower. Look at that. Look at the amazing views too. You've got all the way around here. Stunning. Strolling up ah, to these high bits of Corfe Castle with the pug in tow. Looking pretty cool. Hello. <laughs> Look at that. Views. Good views out here, man. All around, man. You could see armies coming for miles, couldn't you? Look at it. It's actually really dramatic as you come up these steps. Quite amazing. Look at it, it goes up higher and higher and higher. Check it out. Nice one. Ah. And you can look back down as you walk up here. So cool. Look at these super cool cliff bits. Rocks all around. Just imagine what it was like when it was a real castle back in the day main good thing is lots of shaded pug areas. The outer bailey. So, in a ward. So we're strolling around this bit of the castle that apparently would have been mega busy during the day. Wow, wow look at those fantastic views up and around there, man. That is just so cool. Look at it. What a mega funky castle, man. If you imagine what it was like. Full of people, as it said, everybody living here together. So there were stables up here and stuff as well. It must have been much more busy and vibrant at the time, full of things. Up to the next section on its own. It's on its on its way. Here he is. Wow, look at that man, it's really high up here. Travel pug has made his way up on his own. And check it out, really mystical. Oh man, look at that view down there. And look at these views around here. Oh man, with those crazy castle bits above you. It's actually quite mental around here. So, it is like a Lord of the Rings. Mad Lord of the Rings sort of abrophobic maniac area. I'm doing. Look at it. Wow. Absolutely amazing around here. Look at it. Extraordinary spot actually. Look at that, got views everywhere. Back down there, keep full building. Check it out, amazing. Me and the pug heading through some narrow corridor. Pug, you all right? Go on, down you go, darling. You're doing good, you're doing good. Over there, to the left, to the left. Oh, sorry, sorry, pug on the mission. Oh, shit, and a banger. Right, Jeff. Right, just about did not fall over on that moment there. Right, oh. Oh, here we go. It's actually quite cool in the castle. Right, ah, right, Ooh, the garter robe. Ooh. Okay, check these mad views out down over to the town. And this is the garter robe, whatever. What's the garter robe, was it? A oh, clothing area, I think, is that right? No, toilet. Was oh, it a toilet? Yeah. Right, the pug is back on it, on the way. Uh, uh, one of the most amazing things, as I said, is that, um, there were so many fleas in the clothing that the only way they got them out was hanging them near the loo and the smell was so bad the fleas would die in the night. Absolutely bizarre. So as it says here, the, the modern word wardrobe comes from this garter robe, even though they just hung clothes here to kill moths or scare away fleas because the smell of the toilet was so repugnant. Wow. Extraordinary. All right, come on. Let's see. Oh man, look at that. That is an amazing view. You can see everybody wandering into the castle. I only can see right down into the village. That's so cool. Come on, Pug. Let's go. Come on, baby Pug. That's it. Oh, man, look at this bit. He has been doing fast Pug galloping today. Look at that view. Man, it's actually quite precipitous up here, isn't it? Surprisingly high up there. It is surprisingly high, isn't it? You just never expect it's going to be this high that quickly. But you could see anything, couldn't you? Yeah. Wardrobe things are interesting. It is interesting, the wardrobe thing, isn't it? Yeah. Think that a wardrobe is actually a loo you hang your clothes in. Oh, sorry, Jeff. Oh, look, you can see the, some water over there, wherever that is, and these mad ruins and the beautiful fields. 
Look, you can see the way we came back in on that um, bridge as well. Surprising, even within the castle, you go up quite quickly, height-wise, don't you? Look at that. All right, come on, everybody, let's follow the pug. Ah. Right. Nice and breezy up here on this mad hot day. It's feel like a sort of Roman ruin as well, right? Oh, man, look at that. It's just amazing. Oh, the minstrel. Let's just go a bit further into these uh, buildings here. There's another... Oh, Pug's found a shade, like a clever thing he is. There's another uh, voice thing over here. Telling you what's going on. Look at it. You can see the floor would have been here, but also the floor's gone away. Look at the massive this place. Look at that. Really cool. Check it out. Look at it. Mad place to live. Really cool picture here that it really was a 12th century skyscraper. You really get the sense it was some absolutely massive floor after floor of building going on. Absolutely amazing. Really cool. Stunning views as you come around here. Look at that. Right out. Uh, it's chatting. Pug is chatting to me at the moment. Pug, can you be heard to be chatting? You chatting? I don't know what you're saying. Hello, you've got amazing views around here in the castle. Look at it. Stunning, man. Look at it right over there, back down to the visitor centre where we started. Really cool, so pretty. So spacious, look at that beautiful window. I love those windows. Just on the way out now, have you a really cool view here of the uh, castle on the spot. You get a more sense of its space. It's quite hard to actually imagine what it was like. And so much of it is destroyed. Here, yeah, heading the way out again. Lovely photo of it there on that arm um, board. Little thing here that shows you that uh, Turner also would uh, do paintings of this place as it became a um, as it became a tourist attraction. Pretty cool, huh? And there it is. Looks much the same as it was when he did the uh, painting of a ballet. We're strolling through the uh, town. It's quite funky here. All sorts of little um, shops and pubs, all sorts of things. Couldn't find somewhere to eat. Just not quite sure where to go at the moment. Um, What's this place? Okay, that's not quite going to work. That is a... Okay, next one. Move on. Corf Castle Village Stores. Not quite the right either. Banks Arms. It's a beautiful little village, for sure. Just having a little stroll around these shops in uh, Corf. This is like a village stores. Is that open or is that shut? It's open. Can you go in? Oh, no go in? I think it's no. shut actually anyway. Quick shot. Let's keep moving. Oh, so, go on. Go on. Go on. So really pretty this little town of Corf. Stroll in that village store. Got some giant marshmallows and like of bread. Come on, Jeff. A little ice cream shop, all sorts of things around here. Quite expensive because you everything around here is madly expensive. Come on, Jeffers. Jeffers is having a bit of dog friend on. Cute sort of sweet shop in here. Not something like jazz, no, just sweet. But, um, on we go. Uh, Jeff was very excited by the National Trust shop as some other dog had piddled inside it by the basket. What's it say? Halal compliant. Halal compliant ice cream here in the middle of nowhere. Nice. Come on, little uh, let's, let's be honest, all ice cream. Well, I think all ice cream is halal compliant. I'd agree with that. Right, that's the National Trust Tea Room. And here we are, heading back on our way while the ice cream is munched. So here we are, heading back to the uh, place we parked. So crack and visit to Corf Castle. Pug is now being carried home. There's only a pug can be. Hey, pug. I'm gonna look after the pug in the hot weather. Anyway, as ever, hope you enjoyed that little uh, jaunt around Corf. Please like, subscribe, and Rafi, you can do the sign off today. Um, 
adios, auf Wiedersehen, goodbye, cheerio. Ruff. Ruff.